Hello there, this is Jackie Herbert, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. We're now entering Mad Monster Mansion. <gasps> Scary! Except, kind of, not. It's a bit, it's, this is kind of where the game starts getting actually a bit difficult. And this is that one level, like I mentioned before, if you do the, the puzzle thingy before you actually do this level, you actually can miss out on some notes. These two guests are rather dumb. Let's make sure they unwelcome. Uh, that doesn't really work I, either way. Never mind. There's actually nothing in this room. I'm not entirely sure where I came in here. Oh well. So what do we have around here? Uh, I think there is more of these weird bat-like things. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be bats or some sort of bat cross thingy. They're kind of weird. And how did that even hit me? No, either way. I think if we enter, enter the cellar, we can get, actually get some stuff down here. Get that. Since it's here, might as well get that done now. That's just down down here. It's like, hey. Uh, there's one of these guys. The only way to kill these guys is to use the invulnerability feathers. I think you can break this. Yes, you can. The only one you can't break is the one with the cross on it. That's actually where you find one of the stop and swap eggs. Which I'm not going to cover in this because, like, on the N64 version, there isn't actually any, like, use for them. So it's not really needed at all. However, if you're on the Xbox version, you can actually get something from that. Anyway, inside this one, we have a Jiggy. That's the first Jiggy of the level in the first two minutes, I guess. Cool. Job done. Next, uh... A couple more. I think that's the last last barrel to open. Anything up? Ah, there. I, I thought there was notes up here. Just making sure. There we go. So it's only got, really got eight notes, but right at the start, so it doesn't really matter. It's like a like, hundred notes to get as always. It's pretty pretty standard. Right. Which way do I want to go first? I guess I could get the house stuff done first. So this is really a mansion, hence the name Mad Monster Mansion. That would make sense. So it's around here. There is there's the front door which you could always enter, or the window. Either way, I don't think either of them. Oh God! <sighs> Bloody bats. Is, was there anything this side, or was this just a? Oh, there's the maze this way. I don't really want to go in there just yet. I think I'll enter the house through the front door. That would make sense. Hey, what's up? Uh, I don't want to wake him up because he's got a jiggy inside it. If you step on the floorboards, you find the floorboards are quite creaky. And who woke Nappa while he's sleeping? I can hear someone there creeping. Piss. Yeah, to get this, you need to come back here later by going through the chimney. Spoiler alert! But uh, this window actually leads somewhere else, so I should probably check this out just in case. Hey, some wood skeleton. Oh god! Never mind, I got him anyway. Oh, there's actually one in there. And once again, there's no anything worthwhile in here. That's disappointing. Either way, you can actually climb up these poles to get up to the next floor up, and there are notes along the edge, so definitely worth picking them up while while you're here. But you can actually fall down this little hole, but you need the transformation, otherwise, you know, you're too big, you can't fit through a hole like that at all. You actually need to go through that for one of the jiggies. Now, I guess enter these, enter all these windows, I don't actually remember which each of these are, god bloody bat. Piss off. Can't be dealing with your shit right now. Uh, this is this is the room with the... Yeah, down here, there is the... Um, you see the honeycomb piece. Yeah, we can't get it. We're too big. We can't fit through these these holes, which is... Unless, can you... I'm pretty sure it's not possible. You're supposed to come here with, with, as, the, uh, as the transformation. So that's what we'll do. Come back here later to get that. Whoa, watch out. These... Th this roof is actually... Because it's so sloped, you actually will slide down it, so you don't want to be walking on it without the talent shot. In this one, then. There's a toilet! Hey! Oh, oh, give me the Ekan Boken token. Hey, piss off, skeleton. Hey, toilet, what's up? I stand in you because I'm disgusting. There's much too fat to fit in Logo's mouth. Yeah, we do have to go down there sometimes, and I know that's pretty damn disgusting, but that's what you have to do. Okay, so we can. Over here, there's a shot pad jump. We can just get all the way up. And enter this one too. They're nice for that one. They don't make you knock your back so as you fall off. Now this is the room. You might recognise this from the from the 
puzzle scene. These four notes here are the ones which could potentially disappear if you're playing the Xbox version. And I hear a I think they're called a Teehee. Those laughing ghosts. I think they're called Teehee. I got a ginger though, so it's all good. I see gold feathers back there. I might as well take him. That's just one gold feather. Oh well. Hey, leave me alone! Get away from me! Thank you. Now, oh god! Piss! That's not what I wanted at all. So if I, I think you can. Oh no! Oh, you shitting bat! Fuck. Okay. I can just easily grab these these notes around here, and then we can actually enter the. Wait, is there, is there another window? Yeah, there is another window here. Oh god. Oh crap! Oh, I thought I fell down there for a second, but I'm fine. Okay, lots of notes in this room, so we kind of need to come here. Get all the notes, the note on top of the barrel, and these bloody portrait chompers. I think that's what they are. Just fucking coming out to bite my face off. I really don't appreciate that, actually. There's a couple more notes around the around the side, and then we can... Is, there, is this all of them? I think it is. I don't like the look of the number. It's not a round number, but oh well. And then go here, grab the ginger, and hey, that's a ginger. And now we can actually enter in the chimney to get into the, the main part of the mansion. Which is actually what I need to do, and I completely miss that grammar. Okay, gotta be careful here. This, you can... can ah! Okay, just burn myself for a uh, Eken Boken token, it's worth it. So now, you can sneak up to him simply by just not touching the ground and hey, Chicky! <laughs> Grunty's gold, how it shone. She'll be mad, now it's gone. Yes, I'm mad, my boot, I'll put up your useless spooky butt. That's kind of a phone in rhyme, I'm just saying. So that's another cheeky, yeah, and then we got a few more notes around on these chairs, and then we can... I suppose I can fly around the room a bit, since they've given me a, a flight pad, I might as well. It's just the size of this place is really huge, we fly up here, there's, up there in the chandelier there's a life, that's all there really is, and I don't need it, so I'm not going to bother. Just fly out the window. Window? Door, that's what I mean. Shut up. Unfortunately, even if you fly out, you don't get to keep flying, otherwise that would make it way too easy to get around. So I think that's most of this area sorted out, so move along to another area, I suppose. I should probably... Is it this side I need to bash that? Yes. I'm not going to go this way yet, I'm just going to open the gate just so that I can go this way later. Oh, notes. Give me... Thank you. 40 notes. It's a good start. Hey, leave me alone. I just want to go in this house. So what's in here? Oh. So interesting. Ah, oh, I, I like the music in this play, this room. The, it, this one reminds me of Donkey Kong 64, which is a bit weird because it's kind of the other way around. It should be Donkey Kong 64 reminding me of this because it came first, but that doesn't matter. Either way, greetings, oh solid one. I'm Tumblr, the mighty. Solve the puzzle, and you can take this infernal thing that's stuck under me. Okay. Now always with letter puzzles. It's, hey, why don't we spell out the name of the game? Also, you got to watch out for the, the teehee that runs around. But you have to just type out the word Banjo-Kazooie, like you always do. Uh, where's N? I can't find N. The, if, the hardest thing about this is the camera angle, to be honest. If it wasn't for that, it'd just be that piss easy, because you can't really see where you're going. Oh, where he is! Okay, that's fine. Just get back on top and go surfing again. Banjo, where's the K? K is back around here, isn't it? Yep. Cut, watch out. Where's A? I'm not. Is that A? Yeah, that's A. See, that's why it's so hard, because it's like hidden just out of the camera. Kaz. Ooh. There's the one O, and I need another O. Hopefully, I don't run out of time. I think I should be alright. Zoo, uh, I.E. That's just over there. So okay, so job done, pretty much. This is a cool little mini game. I, I quite like it. And go E. Yeah. At last, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. Stay out of the shed. Do 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 do. 
Cool. Three jiggies. Let's get out of this place now. I don't want to stay around in the shed. Hmm. Just a couple of skeletons here. Ignore that. Uh, Last time I played this game, it took me ages to figure out how to get up there. I don't know why, because you go around here, there's a shock jump pad. I don't know why I spent ages trying to figure that shit out. That just like seems so obvious now. Either way, proceed down this way and take out the skeleton guy. Yeah, hitting them like that doesn't actually kill them, they come back to life. Ah, I can break the gate, that's good. I think there's a ginger up here. Is there a ginger up here? Yes, it is. Give me that. And watch out for the whip crack. You don't want him to, like, whip your crack. Oh, boy. <laughs> Grab these notes, and then... I can't remember. Does this water hurt you? No, it doesn't. I wasn't sure. It looked a bit green, so it looked like it could have. Uh, I'll sort that thing out later. I can't be bothered with that now. What's... Is there anything around here? No, I don't think so. Down this area. So you come down here. Uh, you can just wait till you um, get this transformation to get this, but you can just get it now. So it's just why why not? Get okay, done. Cheeky hit. Easy. And there's a whole bunch of notes. This is kind of this little room is a lot easier. Off, oh god, after you get the transformation. But since I'm here now, I might as well just suck it up and just get it done. Just watch out for these whip cracks though, because they will not give you a good time at all. They'll just like, hey, bang, there you go. And then you're left with a bruise on your face, or your foot, or your chest, depending on where they hit you. Oh god, oh god, oh piss. That's the kind of thing you don't want happening. Just swim around them and get the get all these notes. Oh god! Oh, for a second there, I thought I. Oh, come on. There we go. Ah oh, dear. Come on. There we go. Okay, just, is that the last note down here? I think so. Oh piss! Just, I can't see where I am. Do do do. do. Really? Come on. There we go. And then you swim up to the top and climb out using the rope. Cool. Job done. Now, uh, where else do I need to go? Oh, fuck. Fuck. There we go. Where else do we need to go? Hmm. Oh, that's not what I want. Ah, there's notes over here. I'll fly for these. Oh, shit. Don't touch. Now, this water. Oh! <laughs> this water does hurt you. Get out. There we go. Whew. So yeah, you've got to watch out with this water. This water is the stuff that's going to hurt you. It's not a good time. Not a good time at all. I think there's more notes over here. Yep, there is. I, that was an awful idea. I have no idea why I thought that would be a good idea. Oh god, I just noticed my health is really low. I'm going to kill this guy so I can get some health. Yeah, I think if you... Yeah, if you use the infant's row, but invulnerability feathers, you're just going to, like, sort everything out. Okay... Uh, yeah, I think I'll take care of this this thing now. And if you ground pound on this little clock button, it opens up the the church or cathedral. I'm not sure which. It looks a bit small to be a cathedral, so I'm gonna say it's a church. But it's only got a short time, so you have to get like grab your fast far shoes, whatever they're called. I don't remember the name, and then just run, 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 and hope you get there in time. I think I've made it just fine. Oh god, oh god. There we go. There we go. Cool. Success. And then we're in this creepy place with an organ. Oh boy. And really big teehees, which can just die. There you go. I can't remember, is there stuff I need up? Oh, bloody hell. Stuff up. Wow, good jumping. Just. There we go. But yeah, there are notes up here. These could be a bit, li little bit tedious to get, but it's all. Oh, there's another teehee, actually. It's not see me. Oh, now we see me. Okay, get over it. There we go. Cool. Job done. Now let's give me these notes. Or single note. Fuck. I find it funny though, collecting notes in this area is a bit appropriate considering there's an organ right there. Beep, 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 beep. Good music. Yes, I don't think I can say enough times how good this music is. Like, once again, Grant Kirkhope simply 
one of, if not my favourite video game composer of all time. Just fantastic stuff. Either way, if you make your way up here onto the organ, you can find... Okay, I need to get a bit further up before I can actually find him. But you might have seen him just on the edge of the screen. Is it... No, wait. How do I get up? Oh, it's across the middle, of course. Hello there. Mozart plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Yeah, this is really, it's not even memory, you've just got to like, just go to where he's going to press it, wait for him to press it, like that, then ground pound it, and then just keep following him, and you will achieve your prize. He does sometimes go for the black keys, and they're a little smaller, so it's harder, but I'm pretty sure though, these keys are not actually corresponding to the right notes at all. It doesn't sound like he's pressing the right things at all. I could be wrong, though. I'm not really too sure. Not bad, Bear, but now watch me copy this tune and amazed I'll be. Great. This one, isn't it? There we go. I like it. Nice, going all, going all blacks for now. Where is this? Where is this one? I, there we go. There's not much to this, really. You just go along and push what he pushes. It's just like, hey! How many, more, how many more do I need to play? I'm not sure if he actually is playing a specific tune or whether it's random. I'm, I've actually not looked into it. He might be playing the theme from, from this room, but I, I can't tell, to be completely honest. And I thought I would be able to tell if it was that. Is that all of them? Ooh! Your music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. I'll take that from you if you insist. Hey, it's actually what I need to progress through the game. Hey, skeleton guy, piss off. <laughs> right, and now up these side things. There's a life there, but I don't need lives at all. There's Jiggy! Boop, 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 boop. Now we're not quite done in this room yet, because over there, there is a flight pad, which we need to access a few things up in the ceiling boards. Oh, ceiling boards? Is that the right word? I have no idea. And unfortunately, I do not have an, the means to kill this guy anymore. So uh, up here we have the Jiggy, uh, not Jiggy, what? No, not Jiggy at all, it's a honeycomb piece. And then he can poke it, and then the other side we have the bitch switch for this level, which we need to hit, obviously. Which makes a Jiggy appear in Grunty's statue's eye. So that's going to be interesting to get. Now, how the hell do- Fuck! 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 No! Oh! Jeez! That was close. That was fucking close. Normally, if you fall all the way, you are going to die instantly. Like, I was proper scared there that I just fucking killed myself, and that would have been awful. Oh, dear. Okay, I think that's about it for this episode. So, in the next episode, we'll continue through Mad Mods Mansion. I'll see you through this, this door. So, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.